All right, all right. So, so basically, today is the day when I finally present finished build of Victory Gundam series Javelin, the Javelin, the RGM one two two, the GM series type model suit from Victory Gundam uh, timeline. Yes, uh, just to cap the past videos information, it was made in early 90s, that's right, and it has a progressive uh, lineup. Various marble suits released back then were quite a selection, I can tell. And uh, just to skipping this uh, all along, I just want to show you why I finally made it. And I finally made it fully built. I did some measurements, some, let's say, improvements. And of course, I fully painted, except the joints. Uh, and finally, can represent you a Javelin Gundam. Javelin Gundam, a uh, custom, probably, probably not. I can tell because this color variation is the original one. I took it from Mobile Switch Variations uh, Wikia page. I can't recall right now. So basically, I will be covering a little bit of what I've done here and there. But first off, I want to mention that uh, joints of the Javelin Gundam are quite an uh, outdated mess. That's right, because joints are half soft uh, rubber type, like polycaps made of. It's soft plastic, soft rubber something in between and not very reliable and especially when you have to do something like adjustment on the parts like uh, thrusters uh, the plastic which holds thrusters into the uh, designated areas the uh, thrusters pegs are very brittle very brittle and breaks under every occasion possible this is really pissing me off and I had to uh, remove several thrusters and add the custom ones and the first ones were on the backpack. The problem, I want to point to the problem at the very beginning, as you can see there's a crack over the backpack. It's not fully cured, that's right, I just added the glue, but the problem is that I fully uh, fixed our sim line. I fully sanded out, uh, sanded off. I fully painted, primed, painted, top coated, and when I started to assemble thrusters into the backpack, sound occurred. Sound of cracking plastic. And yeah, that's right. When I did uh, some investigation, I've noticed the crack over the thruster, over the backpack, and you know. At the final stage, I was just uh, more than pissed off. So I basically added a little bit of glue, squeezed the parts, and said, eh, heck with it. I don't care. I really don't care. I did a lot of job, and on some reason, nothing to fear about it. And some reason, the plastic didn't hold up, or glue was wrong. Maybe glue was a bad idea, bad quality, outdated. I don't know, expired, and basically... Yeah, the crack is visible, but it's glued and won't fall apart. Uh, something else to mention about improving a uh, javelin would be uh, probably um, feet. Yeah, that's right, feet. Feet were hollow, so basically feet had no uh, flat surfaces. Uh, they had only uh, just caving in spaces, which were not uh, kind of uh, old news, uh, I mean new old news, it was kind of old news in the build of the old type model suits, or the old type model suits model kits, because back in the day Bandai did not uh, had a lot uh, attention to our details, which uh, later 
even evolved even more in a no grades and this one as a exemplary uh, unit which had uh, articulation in shoulders in elbows in waist in knees i just don't want to mess around because i fully painted and i am just a little bit afraid to uh trim off the paint trim off the paint so basically except the backpack which cracked in one spot as you can see our top of the backpack is clean and has no worn off signs hello i would say this is a very good example of one 100 uh one 144 scale marble suit which you can bravely bravely <laughs> boldly add to your collection though you have to keep in mind that this is a victory gundam type marble suit which is significantly smaller than regular marble suits from universal century that's a gundam and that's a javelin so javelin is a little bit smaller in sizes which probably would be more accurate to a formula 91 series and victory gun series itself but in overall it's a uh, great great in design great in details great in even original colors wasn't bad the only thing i can complain about accessories which uh, are not this weapon. This weapon comes with a Victory Gundam from High Grade Universal Century Series Mother One. But this one, tiny little weapon, which is, looks like a toy in its hands, is, well, less appealing, let's say like that. But we also get a shield, we also get a shield with a clear plastic effect part it's not so progressive so cool looking like the newest one but back in the day some models didn't have even this and to finalize this build i think it's would be proper put the model on the stand which i supposed to be like that yeah on the action base stand action base actual action base and Take a look how it looks like. I'm missing a part. Yes. I'm missing a part. And I probably will be using the stride one. And this one. Adding this one. Yeah, I think this one. It can stand on its own. I just want to check out how it would be better to pose it. I wonder if this bag will help him strong enough on the action base like that uh, it seems to be it's not packs properly on which is actual pain to handle things and i don't know i really don't know i probably will be not using this action base which is probably is a good idea but somehow works very flimsy on me in this case like let's try like this yeah it kind of works probably i'm not sure about it. probably table is not stable enough because it's starting to linger off i don't know something wrong <laughs> Let's remove him from the action base. I don't like this action base somehow. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Let's make him stand on its own on the flat surface. Shall we? And yeah, he can stand on its own very easily. Very easily. Very simple. Like that. Okay. I suppose. I just need to made uh, some adjustments probably my table probably then we add some weaponry like a shield on this one peg like that he has a shield now and we add a new rifle new rifle which one is way better than old one 
not a perfect fit I have to admit because the Victory Gundam models has those ugly very ugly rubberish fists yeah, that's right fists and those fists are very very annoying to me and yeah basically we have a javelin javelin build up I'll probably will try to readjust the action base so it will be fitting for him to be in the air because uh, I, I I can pose him like that I can bravely make him stand on the shelves in the cabinet like that as you can see yeah I had a few stickers here and there random numbers and uh, just justification for his alliances and weapons falls out but it's not a big deal because I think I can add a little bit glue but I will probably someday work on the weapon as well to improve it looks our looks and he has those explosive javelins which are probably nuclear warheads probably not I have no idea I don't remember and everything looks fine and in the order and of course if you will be lucky enough to get one by a decent price back in the day the cost of javelin was about something five dollars five six dollars without shipping i suggest you take this guy as a hostage in your collection it won't occupy too much space and it looks very nice and good despite the uh, aging despite the fact that Bandai ignores it despite the moment where Bandai could have released a normal high grade for normal price normal circumstances or maybe even 1100 skill reborn type model but still keeps ignoring all the good designs so that much about this video sorry for taking too long on this one i don't know what i will build in the future next but with something simple which does not require a lot of work but for the uh, probably i should have done this before i should have show what kind of paint i used main color was a studio blue it called Kalidor sky it's a very good nice color paints very finely applied on the wall model of course model must be uh, cleaned sanded uh, washed and yes it was easy and simple i'm very pleased with the results of painting not the modeling itself not that much so thank you for watching peace